Hello, everybody. My name's Richard C. Pontius, and I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Okay, so at the end, it is um, this month they're trying to bring awareness to um, FTD. So I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Um, can you tell everybody how does FTD affect your life? FTD affects my life. Um, what happened when I first got it? I had to quit my job, okay? I had a DVL and I was driving a truck, okay? So I had to give that up and, re and go into retirement. How old are you, Dad? Can you tell us? I am 64. So he, he was affected. He was diagnosed with FTD when he, right before he turned 60. So he's had it for four years. Um, what has supported you in your this journey? What helps you get through each day? Um, what do you do to help oh, get I, through it? I, I, I help around the house. I do um, things like um, taking care of the cats, taking care of the dog. I take care of um, my, I have four parakeets. Right. I take care of them. I have two cats, which I take care of. Um, other than that, to pass my time of day, I kind of binge on Netflix. I don't mean to shut myself out, but that that keeps me occupied and out of trouble. Yeah, that, very good. Um, and then what gives you hope for the future? What's one of the things that you've done to help with FTD? Where do you go every year? I, I went down to the FTD headquarters. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure where it was, okay? But I visited the main headquarters, which was totally redone, okay? And I had a very nice reception there. Everybody treated me like I was a king there. Um and they asked me questions like I'm answering now, but I, I do really good. Yeah, you're part of a study. So what is a piece of advice you could give to people or what would you want people know um, about your disease? Like how... It affects my mind, okay? I, I could be talking and all of a sudden I'll pause. Um, like I went to say... Um, I was thinking exhaust fan, but I couldn't think of that word. So I said vent right. instead. Sometimes I'll say vent. Sometimes I'll say exhaust fan. Um, no, that's there, good. there are times that my mind pauses and I don't know which word to say or how to pronounce my vocabulary. Um no, I think you did a great job describing it because that's what people kind of need to know. Right. And, I mean, and like I said, if you had a job where you were working with your hands and stuff, you not, might not be able to do it anymore because it's just you have to concentrate with your hands. Although I am exercising my hands quite a, a number of times during the day, I make sure all my parts are moving and everything. Um but that's one of the things that happens when you get FTD. No, very good. And what what gives you hope for the future? I hope they find a cure. Okay, not that I'm hampered in any way. I'm I'm very positive in my attitude and everything. But I hope one day they find a cure. Okay, I don't know. I know studies are being done now. I know we're suffering with a bad thing in the United States about um, COVID disease. I know there's other things on, on the fire right now. But I mean, some I have a hope someday that this is a, there's a cure for this disease. So nobody else has to suffer like me. Very good, Dad. That was a great job and great summary. Thank you.